Hi everyone, my name is Vidur and I'm a senior systems engineer in Juniper Networks for Mist Wireless. Today we're going to discuss about how we can create an RF template in the Mist dashboard. Let me quickly go to the dashboard. Here you can see I've already created an organization named Vidur uh, and I've also created a site named Vidur's Home. Uh, what, what we did in the last uh, video was, you know, we created a site and inside the site we have to call the RF template which would be applied to that site. So how we create an RF template is something which we will go through in, in today's video. So let me hover my mouse onto organization here. You can see the option of RF template. Let me click on it. If you already see, I've got another RF template created already. This is for my existing site. I'm going to create a, a new one for you right now. So click on create new and you're here. Let me put the name as test underscore template underscore RF. This would be the name of our template. Uh, country, of course, you can define the country you are in, but if you do not define the country you are in, to whichever uh, site configuration you're gonna call it, call it in, uh, it will take the country automatically from that site configuration as well. So it's okay if you don't wanna uh, enter anything, but you know, I'll just enter India here just to be sure. Uh, and then it, it talks about uh, what, what we can do uh, in the 2.4 gigahertz setting and the 5 gigahertz setting. Of course, these are radio settings that we can define here. Uh, if you want the, uh, the 2.4 gigahertz radio to be enabled, we'll check this box. Uh, channel width is by default going to be 20 in 2.4. We, we, we cannot make it 40 anyway. Uh, preamble can be short, uh, you know, and then and moving, moving on for the RRM settings. The power level can be automatic. If you want to uh, set the power manually, you can do that as well. But I strongly recommend you to keep it automatic. And uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the minimum and the maximum power levels that we have, we have, we have here, 8 and 18. I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about it. Channels, of course, is you know on which frequency you want the APIs to work. And uh, I would say keep it to automatic. If you keep it to automatic, uh, it would automatically select one, one of the channels from 1, 6 and 11. If you want to set manual channels, you can do that as well. That is, you know, if you want to use any kind of combination, go ahead. But strong recommendation, 1, 6, is, 1, 6 and 11 are the channels to go for in 2.4. I will keep it to automatic for now. If you're using any external AP, then you can also define the uh, define the antenna gain, which is, is depending on the antenna that you're using. You can select that here. Now, this setting is the default setting here. For example, if you have multiple models of APs in, the, in your network, you can actually select, let's say, AP43 here and select these settings for AP43, similar for AP43 here as well for 5 gigahertz, and then click on create. Now, for multiple models, you have to create multiple uh, templates in that case. However, I would go with the default setting, which will be applied to all the, all the models, irrespective of, of whether it's AP41 or AP43. So that's, that's the way to go, I would say. Uh, on specifically now in, in 5 gigahertz you can you just click on enable 5 gigahertz here which will enable the radio uh, channel width uh, by all means I, th I would I would say there is there is hardly any reason to go beyond 20 megahertz however if you want to go and, and and push yourself go to 40 but do not go to 80 there is there is there is no way by you know by which you you should be going to 80 megahertz uh, it's, it's gonna cause more problems than it's gonna be of, of any use so and in the radio resource management uh, automatic is again the way to go similar to what we did in 2.4 I'll, I'll talk more about the dbs here the the the, the range of the power level channels again uh, automatic is is good however if you want to set manual channels for example in in in, in deployments like airports or, or dockyards or anywhere else where you expect a dfs hit what you can do is you can actually deselect the dfs channels here and select these and select every other channel so that's that's also something which you can do however if if there is no uh, there's you, you don't expect a dfs hit there then i would say keep it to automatic which will give you more number of channels to work with and and you know that 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 is definitely uh, the way to go external antenna gain is again if you use an external antenna uh, you can define the gain on 5 gigahertz as well and then that's how you configure it Dual band radio setting is another important uh, setting, uh, AP43 and AP63 only that you see here on the screen. What it means is, uh, so in AP43 and AP63, radio one is five gigahertz radio, okay? Now if, if and, and that's pretty much what you can configure. Sorry, uh, that, that's pretty much what you can configure. Uh, in the, if, if you want the, if you want both the radios to work as, as five gigahertz, you select this, this uh, setting. 
if you want one radio to work as 5 gigahertz and one as 2.4 you select the setting and then if you if you keep it to auto then of course it's also going to work as one five and one and one and one two point four so uh, by default it is it is kept like this one one ap one radio should work on five one radio should work on two point four however in in rare scenarios where you know the client client base is good client base uh, you know it, it, they all support five gigahertz you are also or you can be tempted to click this and 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 make sure the aps work in both five gigahertz if if needed so by default that's why it's on 2.4 first so we'll, we'll keep it to that for now now coming to the threshold uh the minimum and the maximum value of the power level for both 2.4 and 5 our aim as the network administrator we want to make sure the uh, the ssid on on 5 gigahertz is more attractive to the clients than 2.4 gigahertz right so how we define or, or define the the values here is we want to make sure that we reduce the power level of 2.4 okay or let's say 11 or 10 i i just want to make sure that 2.4 gigahertz ssid is less attractive than 5 gigahertz ssid so i can i can keep it to 5 and then i can you know or, or let it be the way it is so now 5 gigahertz can be definitely more attractive to the clients trying to connect on the access point so i'll click on create that's that's my way of of really letting the clients know that you know what you need to uh, try to connect on on five as much as possible because that's the right band to be on and rather than 2.4 of course so so that's that's how you create an rf template now once it is created i'll just click on create how you need to go and call it is you need to go in the site configuration and i think we did that in the other video as well site configuration and here in rf template you can call whichever template that you want to call so i just created this one i can call it here and I can save here. However, I will not because I have the other template working for my house. I'll keep it like this. And that's how you configure an RF template. So guys, any questions on how to configure RF template, what any parameter means in the RF template, reach out to me on the, on the comments below and I'll be happy to address the questions and answer them ASAP for you. Thank you so much for, all your, for your time and I hope this was helpful.